we reading about Christ and who Christ came for, who he died for, all right? Who he came to come back to the earth to save. Read what you got, verse 21. The book of Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. This is the black Messiah that we read about. The black Messiah, all right, shall bring forth a son. And this son's name was Jesus. Who did he come for? The black Messiah came for the nation of Israel. You understand? A, a people of color, all right? Not the strangers, not the aliens, not the heathens that's living in our land today. That's not who Christ came for. You understand? Those are citizens of Israel, Israelis. They're not the true Israelites. They're not the biblical Israelites. We are the biblical Israelites today. We're under the same oppression that we were under then, all right? Uh, Edomites were ruling over us during this time, and they're still ruling over us today. Hey, read what you got. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. Acts chapter 5. Because some of us think Christ came to save everybody from their sins. All right? This is what we have been taught by oppressors, that God loves everybody. All right? We're all equal now. All right? We're all equal. All right? Even though... Uh, it's a shame for uh, uh, for for uh, a black man to be married into anyone else's race. All right, and for if, if a white woman come home with a black man, it's a shame. You understand? If a Chinese man come home with a black woman, it's a shame to his people. You understand? All these uh, 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 are. Th this is a, a, a pro it's become a proverb about our people. It's become a proverb about our people. You understand? The white woman. If any nation was to bring her home, it would add value to their family. All right? That's the power that we don't have. That's the power that we lack as a people. There's no way that we could be a racist people in this society today. It's not possible. You understand? Because we don't have the power to be racist today. It does not exist. We don't have that. Come on. The book of Acts chapter 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We are to obey God rather than men. Because men will teach us that God loves everybody. But God does not love everybody according to the Bible. Right. Do you remember what God did to Pharaoh? Do you remember what God did to all the people that was living on the earth before the flood? Do y'all remember what, 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 uh, what happened to the to the children and the she bears, the 42 children and the she bears? Do y'all remember what happened? But when we say that God loves everybody on the earth, well, why did God do these things to these people? Why did he allow these things to happen? Come on. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. What did God do? Raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Come on. Him hath God exalted with his right hand. So this is Christ, the Messiah, the black Messiah. This is the black Messiah that, that was raised up and hung. For who? For his own people. Come on. To be a prince and a savior. For to give repentance to Israel. To give repentance to who? To Israel. So Christ died to give repentance to the nation of Israel. You understand? Repentance is only for the Israelite. Right. right? The Israelite was given God's laws. The Israelite needs to come back. To the laws of his forefather the israelite is in slavery today the israelite is in captivity today for what for his sins drop that baruch chapter three all right baruch chapter three i think it's verse eight that i want all right bring that out bring that out we're teaching you how to get your life right we're teaching you how to repent how to prepare yourself for the coming of our messiah all right you must repent from your sins. Stop having sex outside of your marriage. Alright? Stop dressing like the other sex. Men, stop dressing like women. Stop behaving like women. Right. You understand? Stand up. Take your community back. Alright? Read what you got. The book of Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We're where? Yet this day in our captivity. God say we in our captivity. All right? The prophet spoke this a long time ago. But guess what? It still applies today. We've been in captivity since before this was written. Right. You understand? And we still there today. Come on. 
where thou hast scattered us for a reproach. Wait, what? For a reproach. A reproach is not good. You understand? It's not good. You understand? A reproach is a, 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 a mocking. That's why we're here today. Come on. And a curse. And to be subject to payments. To be subject to what? Be subject to payments. That's why we got to go to the aliens. We got to go to the strangers. We got to go to them for our wood. We got to go to them for our water. You understand? We got to go to them for everything that we need today. We got to go to our enemies. Depend upon them for everything. If you need an exemption letter, you got to get that from them too. Right. Everything you need, you're going to get it from your oppressors today. Come on. According to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our God. According to our fathers that departed from the Lord. Since our fathers departed from the Lord, three holy children, chapter one. Since our fathers departed from the Lord, all right, we suffering the curses. We, su we suffering the consequences today. You understand? We in these conditions today because of what our forefathers did. All right, read what you got. The book of three holy children, chapter 1. Verse 5. And verse 5. Come on. And all these things. You know what all these things are? All these things is us going to our enemies for water, for food, all right? Going to our enemies for uh, uh, an exemption, for permission, for a license. You understand? Going to uh, our enemies for housing, all right? For shelter, all right? For uh, protective services. All of these things we go to our enemies for today. All right? And God says, what about that? Come on. And all these things that thou has brought upon us and upon the holy city of our fathers, even Jerusalem, thou has executed true judgment. God has executed what? True judgment. God said that this is a true judgment for us. All right? This is a true judgment. We complain to the Lord about our conditions, but we don't want to change our behavior. We don't want to... Do what God says makes you a strong man. Right. All right. But you want to complain about being weak. All right. Same thing with our women. All right. We don't want to do what we don't want to follow the instruction that God gives us. All right. For a woman to be righteous and worthy of praise and honor. Right. All right. We don't want to do those things. And then we complain to the Lord about it. But we're not following anything he told us to do. Right. So guess what? The conditions we in today. All right. We deserve it. That's right. All right. We deserve to be in this condition today. We deserve to be dependent upon our enemies for everything. All right. We deserve to be angry. We deserve to be mad. We deserve to be upset. We deserve to be oppressed today. You understand? Because we have forsaken the most high God. Come on. For according to truth and judgment, didst thou bring all these things upon us. Truth and judgment. All these things have come upon us. Because it was God's judgment for us, and it's true. Come on. Because of our sin. Because of what? Because of our sins. Because of our sin. What sin today? Sin is breaking any one of God's laws. So if you are breaking God's laws today, you're in the midst of sin. Whatever you're going through, you deserve. Right. Until you repent and pray for mercy from the Most High God. Right. Come on. For we have sinned. We have what? We have sinned and committed iniquity. We've committed all types of iniquities. God, God, we've been taught that God hates the sinner. No, that God hates the sin, but he loves the sinner. God said he hates all iniquity. Right, he right. hates even you when right. you're in the midst of the sin. Right. He don't love you in your sin. Right. That's a lie taught to you by your oppressor. Right. Come on. For we have sinned and committed iniquity, departing from thee. In all things have we trespassed and not obeyed the commandment. We have not obeyed what? Not obeyed the commandment. We haven't obeyed God's commandments. We need to learn them so we can incorporate them into our lives. Right. All right? We need to know these things. All right? Don't eat swine, crab, shrimp, lobster. All right? Don't do that. If you're a man, you shouldn't be out here with a shaved face. Right. You shouldn't be out here with a shaved head. You understand? You shouldn't be out here dressed like that. Right. That's not how a man is supposed to carry himself according to the Bible. Right. All right? You're supposed to have some dignity, some honor. You understand? Some age, some graveness about yourself. That's how you should be according to the Bible. But we've forsaken that, and now we're in the midst of sin. And we're going to be judged according to that. All right? Come on. 
and all things we have trespassed and not obeyed thy commandments nor kept them nor what? nor kept them we haven't kept God's commandments right? some of us think we ain't got to keep the commandments no more since Christ died we don't need to keep the commandments no more that's a lie according to the Bible alright? you must keep the commandments just like Christ kept the commandments right? and did no sin and left you an example to follow come on neither done as thou has commanded us that it might go well with us. If you want things to go well for you, right? If you want things to go well for you, then you must keep God's commandments. It's no, it's no ifs, ands, buts about that. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.